What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with another ERB reaction. This time we're checking out Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. Now, at this point, um, I've done all the ones that I wasn't so sure that I've seen, right? Um, but this time around, um, we're going to do this one. Now, this one I know that I've seen a long time ago when it came out, but I haven't seen it since. So it's going to be more of a review than a reaction, but I don't remember this at all. So I just remember it being fire. And there's been some bars. But then again, what ERB have we? Well, it's probably a couple of them where it's been like a so so battle. But I'm super excited to jump into this. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Oh, yeah. Um, in my reaction to the uh, Donald Trump versus Ebony Scrooge, um, that's right. He looked their their makeup and everything. The costume game has come so far, right? Because uh, from there all the way to the Donald Trump versus uh, Joe Biden, he looks so much more better. But this is where I think the change happened. That's right. Okay, where the makeup got better. MLK, little little flex right there. Don't like turbans, okay? Making remarks on uh, uh, Trump's uh, uh, his racist attitude, okay? Okay. See where we going? Living in the West Wing, while you were professional wrestling, got skin like Russian dressing from too much Russian investing. Oh, it's Russian, okay? You've been going since the nineties. <laughs> if it was any rock, you couldn't find me. You don't care about the job, Trump. You just think that desk is shiny. If I was in Iran, you couldn't find me. Um, that a ploy or a take at Donald Trump not necessarily knowing his uh, geography, like knowledge and everything. Maybe geographical knowledge. Is that the word? If it was any rock, you couldn't find me. You don't care about the Russian job, Trump. You just think the desk is shiny. And uh, he think the desk is shiny. So I think Donald Trump, even though he said he was going to run, to my knowledge, wasn't it almost like it was kind of like a joke or whatnot? Did it end up turning into something real? Because the real question is, did was Donald Trump ever serious about running when he first started? Then I respect your children, but that wasn't quite right. Y'all looking like some extras from American Psycho. Okay. Last name is Hillary, Diddle, Nevada. Last name is Clinton, and Lyric. Hey, like hey, it's close. Hey. Hey. Oh, fuck, I finally lied and crap. How do I say this? You're racist. Oh, oh, oh there it is. You must get so pissed that your hands are too small to stop and fret. Do you use your fingers? Touch she's only 12 years old. That's enough. Shit. But she's married, sir. Just gotta get pushy. That's your talking. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. See that. See that coming. I mean, you couldn't make this rap without including that at least at some point. Okay. <laughs> and then we. And I'm sitting here thinking about Joe Biden and um, uh, Donald Trump's battle when he was like, "You can't touch this MC uh, MC center or little girls." Yeah. Some like little girls' shoulders and everything. So it's almost like. The, the roles reversed a little bit, right? When we're talking about like, like that type of stuff. So did you, and what's funny is that, uh, I don't think in that battle that, I don't think Joe Biden mentioned that at all and everything. And it's probably because it was just so many years back or four years back, right? So interesting. That's enough shit. But she's married, sir. Just gotta get pushy. That's your talking. Well, grab her by the pussy. Ah, that's a soft brother. Don't tell me the victim's at fault, sucker. You don't know shit about snakes. You cut the words on the end all great. What the fuck am I gonna say today? I'm gonna rock and roll. Okay. Hey, bitch on the scene like murder. Okay, but it was his wife uh, that borrowed the quotes, right? Not Donald Trump, if if I'm remembering correctly. Let me just say, I respect all females. We arrives the trash. Put up next to your emails. Our country's in crisis. Who wants to vote for the mother of ice? That might not be exactly true, but I don't do I like that. Believe it or not. First off, you know, we're already like because I've seen the Joe Biden and Donald Trump I already knew that they pretty much has character down. Um, but in this one, you know, Donald Trump's just one of them guys that's just, you know, he's probably just OK with being like an a-hole. And that's what I'm getting here, like just a ruthless guy that just says whatever comes at stake, no matter who he's talking to. And that's what the type of uh, attitude we're getting right here. That email bar, that's almost a wrap it up moment right there, because that was absolutely 
devastating. Your rhymes are trash when Mexa emails because she deleted all her emails. And then this is right here where he says who wants to vote for the mother of ISIS. And he says that's not exactly true, but he doesn't uh, do politeness. Right. So he's just pretty much just talking all types of smack, regardless if it's true or not. So interesting bar right there. But the mother of ISIS that might not be exactly true, but I don't do politeness. Well, you know, talk about misogyny. Your bills were sick. Like you left in Benghazi, you break. Yo, misogyny, you know, bills and he's in, he's in, he was in prison, right? He got released because of the, you know, that the allegations and the stuff that was proven, the stuff he did with women, so misogyny and everything. Um, um, but he said the stuff you left in Benghazi, which is another connect to the email bar, right? Because uh, Americans died in Benghazi and they think that it was tied to emails that she sent. So nice little, nice little come around right there. Okay. He left a mess on that dress like you left in Benghazi. Never you want to break the glass ceiling, Hillary, I said it. The only crack you'll find is my ass pressed against it. Glass ceiling. Um, you know, taking it to new heights, wanted to become the first Amer uh, female American president. The same flow, I like this flow. How do I say this? You're Yo, a Jew. Beat fire. And you almost lost the primary to a socialist Jew. Bernie. One of the American Bernie. people. Bernie. Madoff, Madoff. 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 Yo, the, the, the faces in the background. China, China, China. <laughs> oh, he's just, he's going in I'm right now, y'all. Not a pretty little wishy washy bleeding my vagina. vagina. I'm gonna run these streets like I run my casinos. More police and less Latino. Oh, you bury us oh. in debt by poor people's socks. I'll create jobs tearing down my eyes. Okay. Rocks from the site to build a wall, dip it in gold and make Mexico pay for our hey. hey, yo, right now the momentum is swinging towards Donald Trump's way. You know what I'm saying? When we talk, see, here's the thing, man. When it comes to rap battles, right? Of course, we all gonna be biased and everything, but ultimately, when it comes down to it, all that matters is the bars that come first and foremost of performance. And that's who decide. That's how you decide who's gonna win this battle, right? You can hate Trump. You can hate Hillary Clinton. But when it comes to this battle, forget all that, bro. Leave that all out the door and just pay attention to who coming through with the bars, who's got the momentum. And right now, Donald Trump is cooking Hillary. Cooking her. Come on. Come on. The crowd in the background. Hey, they are playing Donald Trump's character to the T. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Looks like <laughs> Abe's joined the fray. A new challenger appears. <laughs> It's just, yo, 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 simple, you know, brother, Brock and black and brother, of course, during the election times, you know, opinions and everything on why somebody should vote another way are very, very strong to where sometimes they can severe 
family relationships and everything. That was funny when he said I had more thoughtful discussions up in TMZ. They don't do nothing but talk about drama and everything. For the most part, it ain't about nothing and the information they deliver to you ain't even something that's like really, really necessary. So basically he's saying what y'all talking about ain't nothing. Um, funny thing about that is um, I think I've seen the behind the scenes for when um, they were talking about that claw. Uh, thing that the claws were just you know it was that that was actually something that was man made and then the rest of it was uh, a bird like like CG bird I can't remember which where I saw that at it was behind the scenes on one of these so long ago but all right eight Well, you know, the end of that was unfortunate, right? Because obviously it looks like, you know, Abe was taking sides or at least epic rap battles were taking sides with Hillary. And, you know, when it comes to rap battles, you know, if there's going to be an unequal opportunity, then it needs to come from the bars that they spit that makes it landslide. If you're going to bring in a third party, then they need to be at least biased, right? And not necessarily, I mean, sorry, they need to be as unbiased as possible and talk as much dirty about both of them. But he said, beat this dummy. So I was like, ah, okay. So I'm just going to forget that Abe, even wrapped right here and i'm gonna have to give the win strictly for momentum and hard hitting bars to donald trump baby come on now if you say anything else you gotta be capping come on man really <laughs> anyways that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out